But tonight, Orion's spacecraft is coming home. Yeah, an incredible moment happening this morning just above the lunar surface. The spacecraft flying by and using the moon's gravity to hopefully slingshot it back to Earth. News 6 reporter James Barbero explains the next steps. And we do have confirmation of an acquisition of signal on the deep space network. From the far side of the moon, Orion gives a breathtaking view of the lunar surface with a crescent-shaped Earth now in sight of the capsule's return home this Sunday. It's just like daylight here at Kennedy Space Center as the Saturn V is moving off the pad. This week in 1972 was the last time astronauts launched to the moon during Apollo 17. And Orion approached the moon Monday flying over the landing sites of Apollo 12 and 14. Orion's in-flight success paves the way for a crew to experience this ride on the Artemis II mission planned in two years and later land on the moon during Artemis III, potentially in 2025. The mission is going very well. We've accomplished a number of bonus objectives above and beyond what we had planned pre-flight. Following Monday's three-minute burn to maneuver Orion on its flight back to Earth, another major milestone is still coming up. To end its 26 days in space, Orion's heat shield will be tested during the fastest re-entry speeds ever for a human spaceship. We still also have some risks ahead of us, which is to demonstrate the spacecraft at lunar re-entry conditions, as well as to retrieve the spacecraft post-splashdowns. The splashdown time Sunday is set for 1242 in the afternoon, East Coast time. The splashdown is happening in the Pacific Ocean. On the Space Coast, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6. How about seeing the crescent-shaped Earth? A view we normally don't see, yeah. right? And so it's really incredible. And the next time we see that spacecraft, it'll have people on it That's in a right. couple of years. Yeah. So it'll be great. Or you can keep up with the latest space news and the Artemis program by subscribing to our Covering the Space Coast and Beyond newsletter. It goes out every Monday. This week, News 6's Eric Von Anken talks about the Space Coast Stealth Bomber. Just head to clickorlando.com newsletters to subscribe.